Hi, I'm Ricky Martin, also known as The Art Ninja. I'm an animator and artist, and I love to draw, paint, and take photos. Now, BAFTA celebrates all kinds of creative roles in film, games, and television. And there's lots of artistic opportunities from animation artists to production designers. You don't necessarily have to be the best artist in the world. It's all about using your imagination to discover and express your own style. The best place to start is putting pen to paper. So, let's have a go together. We're going to draw the award that BAFTA gives to the very best creative talent working on screen and behind the scenes. It's the BAFTA mask. There's no strict rules to how you want to draw something, but I'm going to give you a couple of tips that makes it easier for me to draw. So I like to start with an outline and then build my way in. So the outline of the BAFTA mask has quite a chiseled jaw. So I like to start at the edge here. Down like this. And then sort of flat across for the bottom of his mouth. And then up the other side like this. Slightly wider. A bit more of an angle. And then when you get to the hair, there's a little lump out. And then it's kind of a sharp angle. And then flat across the top. And then round the other side, it has a little wave and then joins back up just with the jaw there. And now while I'm at this point, I think it's good to do the hair. So if we find the middle of his head, which is about that, he's got these lovely little curtains, very 90s. A little hook pops down and let's bring that up to the top like that. And he has a similar one on the other side, but it, it doesn't go out quite as far but I like to bring these little points to the same level in the head. So it's kind of symmetrical. And I'm going to do that one up like that. Another little wave. And the other side, very similar. Little wave in, little wave out, and then join up the hair there. It's got these little lines that sort of show the way the hair flows. You don't have to be strict about the way you put these, but it's good to sort of follow along these lines and then join them up at the points. So I'm going to go down like that and join that one there. And then another one right round to the point there and join another one. I'm kind of simplifying this a little bit because it's quite detailed. And then same the other side. Obviously I'm using a very thick black pen so you can see what I'm doing, but you can use thinner pens if you like, or pencils. Get hair like that. So it's nice just to suggest the shape of the hair, you don't have to be super detailed. There you go, follow that line down like that. Now he's got a very dominant brow, and it kind of comes in where this little bump is on the hair. That way you leave enough space for the forehead. So I like to bring it into the middle, do a little peak like that, well, a little downward peak. And the other side. And then I'm going to draw the nose slightly off centre, so you get the shape. Just like that. I'm going to join it onto that bit there. Down to about middle bit. Of, his, of the shape of his jaw and then a little bit around like that and then loop it up a little bit so you can have some nostrils and I like to put the little edges in just suggest them like this now underneath that you have this little bit here I think it's called the filtrum that's just a little loop it sort of loops down now his mouth there's a little point down like that in it. And then have a little bit edges there where his lips close. And underneath, a little bit like that for his chiseled chin. Now for the eyes. Just about there. I'll do a little dot just so I know where the level's gonna be. And because the nose is turning slightly across to the left here, I'm gonna do this one slightly closer in and that one slightly further out so they're centered in the face. Let's get that eye shape, it's like a leaf on its side, and then on the other side as well.
It's not looking bad, is it? So that's the basic outline. Now the thing about the BAFTA mask is it only has one eye that's cut through, so I'm not gonna do any shading in here, but I am gonna do some in this one so it looks full and it's actually part of the mask. Now, as I said before, it's about finding your own style, your own form of expression, and I'm really influenced by comic books. I love all the sketchiness, and dark lines and cross hatching, so I'm gonna shade mine to give it a bit more shape, but I'm gonna do it with sort of just little sketchy lines like this to suggest darker areas and light areas. Now, if you're using a pencil, you can kind of scribble a little bit in and smudge it to get that shape, or you can use a slightly lighter color than your outline color. So let's start with a bit of shading. I'm pretty happy with that, it's not bad is it? Might just add a little line down the middle here just to show a bit more shape on the nose. There we go, a BAFTA mask, which you might be winning if you bring your creative talents to film, games and TV. Thanks for drawing along. Bye bye.